Hey, what's up guys, and thanks for joining me on the channel. In today's video, I was actually going to start uh, taking a look at this guy, which was Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which I picked up uh, a few days ago from GameStop. I finally came in, so that was pretty exciting. But uh, I decided to just kind of go through storage and see what I had, and I actually came upon these guys. Now, this is the uh, Bandai Power Rangers uh, from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, the Ninja Megazord, as well as the Falcon Zord, the legacy versions of these guys. Now, these guys were Toys R Us exclusives. I um, believe they came out around six years ago at this point now, and uh, they're a collector's item. They're fairly pricey, even when they were in stores, and they have a lot of die-cast parts. Uh, and they're very high quality. They were probably some of the I would say the higher quality products that Bandai of America actually put out for Power Rangers. So uh, I just found these in storage and I thought, why not? So let's just take a quick look at these and see what these are. And uh, before we get started, let's take a quick look at the box. So this is the Legacy Ninja Megazord. We see, I don't know if you can see that. It's from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. And this is basically a kind of an homage to how the original uh, toy packaging was. And we can see Legacy here. And yeah, it's very cool to see. You can see premium die-cast metallic parts on the back. This shows all five of these guys combining into that, as well as with the Falcon Zord uh, to combine into the Ninja Falcon Megazord. So there's that. And here, of course, is the Falcon Zord box. Legacy Falcon Zord. Again, premium die-cast parts and exclusive at Toys R Us. And on the back here... Same thing, and here, so this one was actually released first. They actually showed the blacked out version of the Ninja Megazord. So yeah, that is that. Get the box out of the way. Let's take a quick look at these guys individually. So starting off, let's take a look at um, the Wolf uh, Ninja Zord, also known as God Logan in um, the Japanese version, which um, if you guys didn't know, the Season 3, or the ninja versions of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers were based off of uh, Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger. So here we see we got nice metallic parts and these are die cast. That's die cast there. Got the eyes, nice silver paint here. Tail, it's a little warped but you can take, just take a heat gun, which I probably should. And the mouth is posable. So there's that. Here we have, whoops, things are falling off. So basically the storage for everything goes onto this guy. This is the uh, Bear Ninja Zord, also known as God Kumard and uh, uh, Kaka Ranger. So again, die cast here, not a lot of this guy. It's just the uh, the feet here are die cast. Everything else is not. Um, in terms of articulation, mouth opens up. Got some nice paint here. Uh, the front paws do have articulation here. And of course, you can kind of flop them back and forth. So there is that. And of course, the storage for the hands. Basically, we see we got a peg and a slot, a pe uh, tab, tab. And we just plug those in just like that. And that's that. And the other one, the fist stores under there. We see we got kind of a little uh, tab here that just kind of clips in there. It doesn't hold in securely, but uh, there's storage. So I'm just going to take these off, actually. And I forgot to show off some articulation for um, uh, the wolf here. So the front paws are posable at the elbows and same with the back legs, kind of posable here. And of course the tail is posable. Going on to the frog ninja zord, also known as God Gammer in Kaku Ranger. So again, very nice paints. And on these guys, there's not a single sticker, which is really good, I appreciate that. You see we got some nice, uh, red and gold paint there and die cast for this guy um the hands here are die cast and if i believe if i remember correctly maybe these feet are die cast it's really cold right now so it's kind of hard to feel what's actually die cast but um, in terms of articulation the mouth does open right there now there's a slot there i don't know if you can see so maybe you could kind of put something in there to kind of mimic a, t uh, a tongue. So there's that. The hands, of course, are on ball joints and, uh, sorry, the arms are on ball joints and the hands are on a hinge. Um, you can kind of move these legs out, but that's kind of more so for combination. They kind of angle in and out as well, but you kind of have to move that out. So in and out, just like that. And of course, the legs can go, so you can have them in a jumping pose, which is really cool. And we saw the foot moves as well. So that is that. Here we have the crane, also known as uh, God Kark. And this one is very simple. There's barely any articulation. The head 
is on a hinge and these wings can kind of move back and forth but that's about it but we do get some really nice paint on here we see we got all these symbols actually for the different uh rangers or kaku rangers got a little eye here if you flip them upside down the head is fairly well hidden which is really really nice so yeah that is that next we have the ape ninja zord or also known as uh, god sarader in um kaku ranger we got some nice paint here, and again, this is metallic. This is the die cast pieces, and we got some nice paint all across. The face is very nicely picked out in paint on the side here. And these are actually the sores, they can come off or they can actually combine. So we see we got two tabs here and two slots here, so we just kind of peg that on. And here we can have him holding two swords in one hand. So that is pretty cool. I'm actually going to take this off because for transformation, we won't be needing these anymore. So I'm going to get these out of the way here. So there is that. For articulation, I don't think I went over that. So head is actually static uh, for transformation purposes. Uh, that's what we need, actually. Shoulders are on a ball joint. It's not much motion back and forth, but there is quite a bit of motion going around. Just like that. We have a bicep rotation that goes all the way around. We have an elbow joint, and also we have a wrist joint. Uh, nothing at the waist, of course, but the legs don't go forward and back. They go side to side, which is okay. I don't think they go forward and back. Yeah, they don't go forward and back. They only go side to side that much. So we get a decent splits there. Nothing at the knees, and that's pretty much it for articulation. So probably some of the one of the best articulation we actually got out of a uh, Bandai Power Rangers figures because most of the time those guys are just bricks. Uh, they look good posed but um, or combined but they actually don't move at all. So there is that. So that is the Ninja Mega Sword set. This is the Falcon Sword and this of course came separately. Um, so painting on this is actually very very nice. We got some green, gold, red, metallic gunmetal here. We have gold for the claws and these are die cast. And same on the back. Lots of gold here. Very, very nice. Nicely picked out. Now, articulation head is on a ratchet joint. Uh, the mouth does open. We see that. Opens quite a bit. So there is that. The wings are on um, ratchet joints as well. They go forward, but they don't go down. Well, they do go down, I remember. They actually go forward like that, and they go all the way up just like that uh, for the tips of the wings you actually have to pull them out so you have to pull them out a little bit and these actually came disassembled you have to snap them on yourself and they can fold up like that or fold down like that so that's it for the wings the tail is on a hinge you can move up and down uh, legs are on a hinge ratchet only they don't go outside the side which is unfortunate we do have a swivel i guess at the ankle here and we do have a hinge at the foot as well as the claws for the front and the back so pretty simple articulation nothing too crazy but again these are classic power rangers figures i say classic even though it's only six years at this point but um all in all there's not a lot a lot of articulation for these guys so without further ado, let's get these guys combined up so you can actually see how these guys look. So starting off with uh, the frog, so what we're going to do is we're going to extend these legs and just drop these down, just like that. Extend these legs, drop these down, drop down the feet, and kind of move the legs in like that. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to straighten out the hands. We're going to bend here at this hinge, and we're going to slide these hands into these slots on the knees, just like so. Oops, make sure that kind of lines up, just like that. Okay, so here we have the lower body all done. Next, we go to the bear. Now, for the bear, um, the instructions actually show you that you want to have this thing guard inside the mouth. Um, I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> that's how it always was, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this guard in his mouth, close up the mouth. I'm gonna take these front legs, we're gonna squeeze them in. They're on a spring-loaded hinge or joint. We're gonna slide them in and slide them into the body. And here, make sure they're all the way in. And we're gonna collapse that into the body. And we're gonna take the hind legs, flip them up. And that is the upper body all done. So I'm gonna put that off to the side first. <clears throat> Next, let's get to the wolf. This is pretty simple. I'm going to take the tail, fold that back, take the front legs, fold that into the body, 
like so on both sides. And then we're going to take the back legs. We're just going to fold that up and fold that up just like that. And that is the, uh, this is the left arm. Next, let's go to the ape. Now this guy's a little bit more involved. So what we're going to do is we're going to clip these legs together and we're actually going to slide this into the body until it clicks just like that. And we're going to open up the back and we're going to fold in these arms. Now, uh, these arms don't really fit in that well and sometimes the body doesn't close the best. So you kind of have to do some fiddling here just to make sure everything fits in. So you see how there's always like a gap. So I'm just gonna leave that as is for the purpose of this video, but um, it takes a little bit of fine tuning just to make sure this all sits flat. So there is that. This is the right arm. And finally, for the crane, this is very easy. What we're going to do is take these back, these fins, fold them back. We're going to push up on the neck, and that will flip down this combiner joint. And this will reveal the face. And we're just going to fold that head down, make sure everything lines up. And here we have the head for the Ninja Megazord. So putting that all down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to combine all these pieces together. We're going to take the frog and we see we got three connector joints on the top here. We got three tabs on the bottom here. So we're just going to line everything up and connect. So there is that. And we're going to take the wolf and we're actually going to take the, the hand and we're just going to clip that just like that. So that's clipped in. We're going to take this joint, connect that here. Now, these are all Zord Builder joints, uh, if you actually own any of these figures back in the day. Uh, you can actually take these and mix and match with any of the other figures back in the day, which was uh, Samurai, um, Megaforce, stuff like that. So that's actually pretty cool, but um, who's going to do that, right? So there we put the fist on the other one. We know this is the right because it actually has the thumb. And we're going to take this connector joint, connect it onto this peg. And lastly, what you're going to do is we're going to take this peg as well as kind of this little hook and we're going to connect that onto this peg and this joint right here. So what I like to do is take the front, make sure that, I don't know if you can see that, make sure that hooks under and then take the peg, just plug it in. And here we have the Ninja Megazord all combined. Now, of course, we pretty much saw all the paint and details already. So the only real thing is that face. Now we can kind of see that face it got that nice face. We got all five symbols on the head now. And I know you can't see that head, but it's just the crane head tucked up. And it's a very cohesive look. I really, really like this. It's just a big shame that uh, Bandai of America never ended up doing a Shogun Megazord or Muteki Shogun uh, because the Falcon Zord actually has that capability. They just never follow through and I don't think ever going to get that because um, Bandai sold the rights for Power Rangers to Hasbro now. Which is actually doing a pretty decent job, I would say. So yeah, in terms of articulation, the head can actually look up just like that. And I feel like that's more for when you combine the Falcon Zord so you can actually fly. So there is that. Um, articulation here. So if you just move this, the kind of the torso moves. So you want to hold that down and then you can just move this. So we do have 360 degree here. That's pretty much it. Same thing on the other side, 360 degrees. Very simple, nothing at the waist. Um, we do have hip articulation, but if we move that, we see um, this pops out and there's really so no point in that. It kind of kind of go out that far and the knees can bend, which is pretty cool. And the foot has a ankle pivot. And again, it can fold up and down, but posing for this guy is pretty much not that great and non-existent. So I wouldn't really worry about that. So. Putting that off to the side, uh, let's take a look at this guy again real quick. So in order to combine for uh, the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord, what you're going to do is flip the head up, very simple, drop the tail, close up these claws on both sides, or more so like that, make sure that's good, and just flip these legs down, straighten out this wing, straighten that out, and we're going to close that up, same thing with this, close that up. Now, what I was talking about, for the Shogun, basically what would happen is these wings would flip forward and this would kind of slide um, between the shoulders of the Shogun Megazord. Whereas for this guy, it would kind of just slap on the back. So we can see that there's joints on the inside here and there's also like a tab you can flip up like that. 
And on the back side here, we also see there's a tab as well as a joint, uh, which are never ever used for this combination. So that's really a missed opportunity for Bandai. Back then they should have at least released that Shogun Megazord to give us our complete season three set. So for this guy, what you're gonna do is there's two slots here. There's one on each side. And all you're going to do is you're gonna take those slots and you're going to line those up with these black tabs. I don't know if you can see that. You can see there's a tab here and there's a tab here. Now these are spring-loaded tabs. So what you're going to do is you're just going to line it up and slide it up and that is it. It's not the most secure connection but uh, there you go. There is the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord. Now you can get it into a flying pose by kind of leaning forward and like I said tilting this head up kind of like that and you can whoops so like i said this connection is not the most secure again if you move the arms the, the show um the body joint actually moves first and that's what actually holds this guy together so you really want to be careful if you are posing this guy like that so I'll just make sure everything is good can take a bit of doing and it's very annoying so yeah, there is that. That is the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord. Um, for articulation, there's really not much difference. Something's not in all the way. Where is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So about the same, not much difference in articulation. It just kind of looks better. But like I said, um, if they actually released a Shogun Mega Zord, I feel like that would have put the Falcon Zord to its full potential and that would have been much better than with this guy. So yeah, that is my review of the Power Rangers Legacy uh, Ninja Megazord as well as the Falcon Zord combined into the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord. It's not a very good figure, it's just a very good display piece. Um, he looks amazing with all the die cast parts, very shiny, great paint, uh, no stickers at all. There you go. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And until next time guys, take care.